Hello and welcome to Lunch Break Live. This is a live lunch break with Associate Pastor Tony Gandula of My Father's House. Thank you for joining us today. If you're joining us right now or later on, I thank you and I'm so glad to uh, be able to share this day with you. Let me know if you're on and I can say hello. It's Joyce. Hey Joyce, praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. It's a Monday. Woohoo! Hello. A glorious Monday with the adventure of the whole week in front of us. You know what's special right now? We're in the last month of summer in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's still hot outside, but in the morning, oh my gosh, it's actually started to be a little bit cool. So that's not what the lunch break is about, but it is the beginning of our week, and um, I am excited about um, going out of summer here. If you wanna to give to uh, the work of the, of the ministry here at my father's house, we have at the top of our page a Shop Now button that'll take you to Donate Now at mfhlv.com. All right, for this week, I can't get out of it, and I'm glad because um, this is just where I feel God is leading me. I wanna talk about one verse, and it's the end of uh, the verses that we talked about last week on the work of the ministry. Um, you know, it's fitting for this to be such a lengthy series for me especially because I've always enjoyed and desired as I spoke before and have been interested in the work of the ministry and it's always fascinated me how God invites us to do his work at an early age. He doesn't, you know, it's, it's quick. It's, it's, um, it's like you're pre, um, how can I say this? Um, he's already equipped you, <laughs> you know, and then he equips you along the way. Um, he tests you, he makes sure you know you're ready, um, and then he, he's just a good father and a good leader, and he, um, there's always been something you can do for Jesus, and this, and this part that we're talking about when we minister on the word, on the work of the ministry, is your part in the body. So God is very practical. We have our spiritual side, and then we got a very natural world we live in, and they work together, and the Lord made them, and he has a body for us to be in here on earth, a physical body and part of his body, his church, his people, and your place there with all of us. And you're gonna see the, the word of God, um, looking at Ephesians chapter four, verses, verse 16, very much so um, talks about us being in his body and working together with other people in his body and know that um, he is in charge. He's got leadership in there, but he's the same one that drew you to himself, that keeps you, that trains you, and that walks you through this life in and your calling and your purpose, um, walking with him and doing the work of God as a body. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16. That's going to be our uh, main verse for this week and I'm going to read it to you in the King James Version because it's my favorite version but then we're going to break it down in the Living Bible because sometimes it's a lot easier to understand stuff that was spoken in old King James English in just regular nowadays English and I don't want to lose any of that translation. So this is the verse. This will be our verse the whole week. From whom? Well, who, who do you think we're talking about? <laughs> From Christ himself. From whom? The whole body. And I want to just sit there and sit on that for a second. You are part of the whole body and you have a place. He's talking about everybody. Hi, Sher Sherry. When he says, from whom the whole body, it means you, <laughs> and it means me, as unique and as different as you may be. You are maybe a unique place and a unique person, and you just don't fit everywhere or anywhere, but a specific place, exactly. He knows how to handle the whole body, and every bit of us is unique and goes in a certain place and he knows how to do that. So your uniqueness is something he has a handle on. He's not a cookie cutter God and he has a unique, he knows how to handle your uniqueness. 
So when we look at Ephesians 4.16 and we see from whom, meaning him, from Jesus, the whole body is fitly joined together. Now, we're going to talk about that in this week, maybe some today and definitely more tomorrow. What does it mean to be fitly joined together? And then it says, then it gets real specific. King James says, and compacted. Oh, what does that mean? By that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, and it makes increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. So that's going to be our flagship verse that we hit this week. I want to make sure I'm staying on time. Got to count in my head now. Okay. Okay. Now I know what I'm. Now I know where I'm at. I think. Yeah, now I know what I meant. <laughs> okay, I want to look a little bit more at the first part of this verse because I want us to understand it's from Jesus. When it says from whom, we're going to look at Ephesians 2, 21 and 22, which are definitely in the same book and talking about the same thing, but it just gets a little more specific to let you know we're talking about Jesus. And in verse, Ephesians 2, 21 says, in whom, meaning in him, all the building, that's you and me, fitly framed together. So notice how the Holy Spirit is using the same words, fitly framed together, grows unto a holy temple in the Lord. Verse 22, in whom, in Christ, you also are builded together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. So, it's holy. We're gonna look at what that word means as we study this, okay? As we check out. It's holy, but it's for the work of the ministry. This is something God does and places us in the body so the body can function and function at its best. Now, I've been involved in the work of ministry since I was very young. I've been in the same church, among the same body. I've been to different churches, you know, different points in my life, but I've stayed faithful, is what I'm trying to say. I haven't hip, skipped and hopped and jumped around, although I, you know, my 20s, yeah, uh, more of a young people type church, but I've been with the same ministers, the same ministry, and I've learned a, a little bit things. I've seen people come. I've seen people stay established. I've seen people um, struggle. I've seen them leave, come back. I've seen all these things happen. And um, I never felt, um, I felt at home. I felt accepted. I felt loved for who I was. And I felt I could grow. And then I just got to work and said, I'm, I'm gonna do it. You know, there's an old saying, say, bloom where you're planted. Um, and I just took that to heart and said, okay, well, if God has planted me here, he must have planted me here so I can bloom, <laughs> you know, so I can flower in him, so I can uh, fulfill his call and his purpose. And God puts us into his body so we can grow. And that's what it says there in Ephesians 2.21, um, complimenting Ephesians 4.16, saying from whom, Ephesians 2.21, in whom, meaning in Christ, the same wording, all the building, is fitly framed together and it grows unto a holy temple in the Lord. It's unique, it belongs to him. He doesn't do things like everybody else. The same God has said the last shall be first, the first shall be last. He does it his way and we, we learn his, his way, but it brings his growth and it brings a place where he can habitate. And we'll talk about that later. But it's a holy temple in him. And we're going to grow together. We're going to get stronger together. We're going to go through things together. And if we stay attached to the head, who is Jesus, why we're here because of him. These are all verses we're going to cover this week. We'll be all right. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll be better than all right. We'll overcome. We'll grow. But no, it's not by yourself. It's with a body. It's with a family. 
So the adventure begins, right? Well, I hope this is an encouraging word to you as we dive into this this week and um, have our adventure begin this week as we live for him and we, in him we live, right? And we move and we have our being in him, but not alone with each other. All right, a kiss to the king, the king of glory. Share this if it ministered to you and have a great day.